Hey there folks, today I've got a software review. Now, this is a bit of software called TrackShift. Now, it's designed to help you with your iTunes library. Now, for instance, if you've just either been moving your iTunes library around from folder to folder, or if you want to get rid of dead tracks, or sort out your applications, or even uh, when it comes to sorting out your playlist, this software can do quite a lot of it. There's all sorts of companies out there, you know, I've used things uh, like TuneUp in the past, so anything that cleans your music, finds your album artworks, sorts them out, all that type of stuff, but there's some things that it can't do. So what it is, this track shift, I, I, the reason I came across it was because I wanted to try and find out what music that was in my iTunes library that wasn't in playlists because when it comes to my phone um, I only have a 16 gig iPhone so I can't sync all my music but I like to sort them by playlist and I always listen to my music through the playlist I never just put it on random or just search through the list because I find it's too much work now the thing is I don't know how much music I actually had missing out of iTunes libraries or playlists this is where this came across. Now, the reason I came across this was I was browsing around the net for an answer, and I came across this website. It's called Doug's Apps for iTunes. Now, he basically does Apple scripts for uh, helping with the iTunes side of things. A lot of the stuff is on the App Store, so you can always find the stuff there. For instance, this one's called Track Shift. It's at 149 off of the App Store at the moment. So uh, anyway, to the software, you have these three tabs here, you have make special playlists, find tracks without such and such, and then you have clean, so let's start with this one here. Now these are all about uh, making specialised playlists, so you can have one hit wonders, two first playlists, or three first playlists. This is just literally that you can have back to back songs from different artists, different playlists, all sorts of things like that. Makes it a little bit more interesting instead of standard playlists find tracks without so you can say I want to find tracks without album artwork so what you can do is you select it you name um, the playlist you want so you just leave it as no artwork you want and what it'll do is I'll actually make a folder and it'll say such and such files do not have uh, playlists uh, sorry um, album artworks whatsoever so then you can easily go out to the web find them change them do as you wish with them there is find tracks without lyrics, so again it makes a folder called no lyrics and puts all of them in there. Or you can have ones that say not in playlist. Now this is what I was looking for. So I selected that, it says gives you a folder called not in playlist, you select OK. And what you'll notice here actually, because I've done this mostly the night before, I've now got a folder called not in playlist. So there's all this music here that wasn't actually in any playlist. So most of this music's probably never hardly been listened to because I've never had the chance of finding it through playlist functions. So it came in very handy for doing that. I could then sort them out, rearrange them, move them to the playlists I wanted to, get rid of songs I don't want, all that type of things. The last folder was that you could most commonly use uh, delete dead tracks. Now, especially if you've moved your iTunes folder quite around a bit. For instance, I've moved from mine from a, an external hard drive onto my Dropbox account. Then I noticed that some of the files were actually dead tracks anyway. So you can tell it to do this, and normally you'll always tell it dead tracks. It gives you this little uh, exclamation symbol, and then it just finds them all and it says, right, okay, here's all the songs. Do you want to delete them and simply clears them away? So it's very nice, very simple. Some of the software is out there that can do that, but I just found it a bit simpler to do than this, if anything. Um, certainly you can tell it to delete empty playlists, which for some reason you don't think you'd generally have a lot of them, but I had about three or four of them to say I have probably about 30, maybe 40 playlists. So there are the odd playlists that uh, you, you tend not to want. And then last but not least, should you have a D genre, which is basically you can tell it to get rid of certain uh, criterias because iTunes gives you an option of having three categories where you can have 20 genres, 250, or 500 different type of genres. Um, and especially when you go to 500 type, there's all sorts of stupid names that come along. So you can narrow them down or you can get rid of ones that you don't want. Now certainly if you are wanting to clean your iTunes folder, I, I would say this is recommended. Um, it makes it very, very simple. 
and especially just trying to sort out those players it made it a lot easier to in the end of the day as it's called track shift you can always find it on his website called Doug's Apps. If you just search it on uh, on Google, you'll find it no problem. Or even if you go to the App Store, you can download all these apps there. This one was about one pound fifty. Um, certainly not bad to say the job that it does, and it's something that I'll keep on using in future. So anyway, I hope this has helped, and uh, we'll see you next time.